Yo, 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 this is Mr. O. What's up, what's up? Mr. O here, and today we're going to learn how to uh, solve absolute value equation. And when we talk about absolute value, most of us know that it produces a positive value, okay? Uh, review, example, absolute value of 4 is 4. Absolute value of negative 4 is still positive 4. Why? What is the absolute value meaning? Absolute value is a actually a, a distance of any quantity or a number away from zero. Meaning to say, like this, absolute value of four and absolute value of negative four are both four because if this is negative four and that's positive four, if we're going to count how far is 4 to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why the answer there is 4. And here, likewise here, negative 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4 from 0. That's why the absolute value of negative 4 is so 4. <clears throat> and if you understand it, there's no negative distance. You cannot say that I move like 5 kilometers to the right, but I put negative kilometers on this direction. It's always going to be positive. Anyway, moving on to solving absolute value. Just remember that in solving absolute value, there are going to be two answers because one is in a number line, one is on the left side, one is on the right side. You can say it that way. Okay. So if you analyze this one here, is that um, this will be negative four because x plus four. So what are the three numbers on the right? Of negative four, what are the what is the third what is the other number on the left side of negative four? Okay, that's how you look at it. But let me show it to you algebraically. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that the absolute value is by itself, and you're gonna split them into two. One is x plus four is equal to three, and the other one is x plus four is equal to negative three. You're gonna solve for the equation minus four here, minus four there, x equal to negative one. Minus 4 there, minus 4 there, x equal to negative 7. So the answers are negative 7, comma, negative 1. So if you're going to analyze this one in a number line, if this is negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. And those are our answers. How do they get negative four from the x plus four? Just set it equal to zero. X plus four is equal to zero. So for the x, that will give you x plus negative four. That's only like a, you know the idea, but this is what I need you to do. All right, example number two. So I have a three absolute value of 13 minus two x equals 15. What you need to do here first is to get rid of the coefficient three by dividing everything here by three by three. So what left now is third, absolute value of 13 minus 2x is equal to 5. If you notice, I did not split them into 2 yet because I need to get rid of the coefficient here. Now, since the absolute value is by itself now, I can split them into 2. 13 minus 2x is equal to 5. The other one is 13 minus 2x. If you notice, I just copy it, except this will be negative 5. Solve it, minus 13, minus 13. Cross it out. Negative 2x is equal to negative 8 divided by negative 2 divided by negative 2. x is equal to 4. Minus 13 minus 13. Negative 2x is equal to negative 18 divided by negative 2 negative 2. x is equal to positive 9. So 4 comma 9 is our solution. Next, example number three. There's all another coefficient three here, and there's also minus seven. Do we divide by three? Not yet. We have to move the negative seven to the other side first. Add seven, add seven. 
if you notice, I just copied a three, absolute value four x plus two, this will be gone, is equal to 18. And this is the portion I'm going to divide three, like what we did in example number two. Cross it out, this will be absolute value four x plus two, is equal to six. If you notice, I have not split them in two until the absolute value is already by itself. Split them in two now, four x plus two, is equal to six, four x plus two, is equal to negative six. Minus two there, minus two here, four x equal to four, divided by four, divided by four, x equal to one here. Minus two here, minus two there, four x equal to negative eight, divided by four, x equal to negative two. So the answer here is negative two comma one. Next, a special case. Why is this a special case? I'll show it to you why. So here again is there's an absolute value of three x plus five plus six is equal to negative two. I need to move the six to the other side. This will give you three x plus five uh, minus six here, minus six here is equal to negative eight. <clears throat> Why is this a special case? Because of the negative number. If you remember in our first example here, everything inside the absolute value, but whether it's a positive or a negative, the answer will always be a positive number there. What example four is showing to us is that even that this is uh, inside absolute value, will the answer be negative? That's impossible, right? You can't have a negative answer from a positive value coming out of the absolute value here. So since this is always going to be a positive, it cannot be equal to a negative eight. So this is impossible. So therefore, this is a no solution. <clears throat> if I may add this example number five here, it would be this, x plus two, is equal to zero. <clears throat> Since we normally split them into two, especially here, the absolute value is by itself, we cannot split this into two because zero is neither positive nor negative. So what you need to do is just go with one thing, x plus two is equal to zero. Solve for the x by minus two minus two, x equal to negative two, okay? I hope you learned something on how to uh, solve absolute value equation. And as always, kaboom.